here in Northeast Ohio that has the most immediate impact for our area. In a newly created district, the longest serving woman in Congress, Marcy Kaptur, beat out longtime Congressman Dennis Kucinich. News Channel 5's Michael Baldwin talked with Congressman Kucinich and some of his constituents today. Michael, this is really the end of an era as far as Ohio politics goes. You know, Chris, I posed that exact question to Congressman Kucinich. He said, look, my term isn't up yet, and I still have some work to do. We talked to some of his constituents out here. They say they're going to miss him, and some also said they don't really know Marcy Kaptur. The cars still drive. The trees still move in the breeze. But something seemed a little off in Lakewood, a place that may still be in disbelief that their rep in Congress is no longer down the street. Oh, I thought for sure he would get it because I thought he was well liked. Robert Wilhelm has lived in Lakewood for a decade. He doesn't like things too complicated. That's why Dennis Kucinich got his vote. Oh, he seemed like a, a nice guy, and cool, and uh, he wouldn't, like, get all bent out of shape. Most people seem to have nothing but kind words like Carolyn Miller. I think he's uh, done a lot for Northeast Ohio. Mm -hmm. I know he's been in there for, he's got a lot of power in the house, so that's why I was able to get a lot done for us, so. In the Kucinich, uh, when he was trying to win his race for Congress, I said, let's work on it. And uh, me and my girlfriend, we were on the streets up at night and cold weather and everything. That campaign work just wasn't enough as Kucinich lost the newly drawn 9th Congressional District, which includes Lakewood to Toledo's Marcy Kaptur. That has some here concerned. I'm not sure. Um, I'm not sure that she's familiar with um, the Cleveland area itself. I don't really know what is going to happen. She probably should forget about us. Maybe it was my father. We caught up with the congressman at the airport on his way to Washington. Big questions like, what's he going to do now? Will he really run in Washington state? Those questions were not answered. In this community, it gave me 75% of the vote, and I'm grateful for that. But, you know, unfortunately, uh, you, uh, you have to do well in all five counties. I did well in just one. When I asked Kucinich if he felt the newly drawn 9th district was drawn favoring Captor, he wouldn't answer the question, always saying, listen, I'm going to Washington to do the people's business. Well, Ivan Lakewood, on your side, I'm Michael Baldwin, News Channel 5.